Hi, CJ here from the Autodesk Pier 9 Workshop. In this video, I will be using Fusion Cam to demonstrate a feature called Tool Break Control. Tool Break Control is used to check the tool during the middle of a program to determine whether or not the tool is intact. This is useful if you're performing unattended operation and would like a failsafe in place to stop the machine if there is a problem. Keep in mind that this feature will require the use of a machine that has a tool probe. In this example, I will be using the Haas VF2 at the Autodesk Pier 9 Workshop, which has a Renishaw probe system installed. Let's take a look at the setup that I'm going to use to demonstrate tool break control. Within the setup, I have two tools. Tool one is just a quarter inch flat end mill. I'm going to use this to rough and finish the pocket, and this will be the tool that we are going to break. Tool two is a quarter inch chamfer tool, and I'm going to use this to put chamfers on the sharp edges. So let's see what happens if I don't use tool break control. In this clip, you could actually hear me trying to break the tool on purpose. Without tool break control, the machine doesn't know that the tool is broken, and we'll go ahead and change the next tool and try and complete the rest of the program, potentially causing more broken tools or a machine crash. Or in this example, a chamfer without a pocket. There are two ways to turn on tool break control. The first way is to enable break control in the tool definition. So if I go to the tool library, look at the document tools and find tool number one, I can edit the tool and look for the break control checkmark. With that checkmark enabled, every time the tool is swapped out, it will be checked. Now let's see what happens when we run the new program. This time the machine caught the broken tool. So now the program will stop, the red light will start flashing, and a warning message will appear on the controller indicating the problem. The second way to enable tool break control is with a manual NC operation. To create a manual NC operation, I right click on the setup, go to new operation, and click manual NC. From here there are a plethora of different manual operations that I can do, but I want to choose tool break control. Then click OK. Now I have a manual NC tool break control command. I can drag this between operations and it will check the tool even if there isn't a tool change. In this program, once the roughing operation is complete, the tool will be checked. Once the machine has verified that the tool still is intact, it will go back into the finishing operation. And that's all there is for tool brick control. So hopefully we can now mitigate disasters caused by programmers like this guy.